What's up, my good peoples, my good peoples? What's going on? It's Mr. Wealth Hacker. Hey, look, this is conversation with Mr. Wealth Hacker, right? Today, what I want to talk about, I might make it quick, but I want y'all to I want y'all to think about or ask yourself, what do you specialize in? Because we we be doing too much at one time and we never get things off the ground. So I want to just put that in your chest to start specializing in one thing, one thing. Stop doing 10 things. And I'm victim, I'm victim of that, you know. <clears throat> Man, I, 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 uh, at one time I was trying to do like six things at one time, you know, I was trying to, <clears throat> I was doing the lawn care, I was doing the, uh, vending machines, I was doing, uh, real estate, um, I invested in other companies, I was doing stocks. I'm still in majority of them, but I had to, <clears throat> I had to figure out how I can pull myself out of them though and make them run automatically, you know, let, let them, make them go automated, like they just running clockwork, you know, and uh, once I figured that out, my life got a lot easier, you know, because I had more time, but my reason for saying specialize in one thing because what you specialize in will get you to other things. And when you get to other things, they need to connect. They need to connect with that one thing. Like as an example, right? As I was doing the lawn care, I jumped into vending, right? Because it was like, it was passive income. So with me jumping into vending, my trial and error, I went into the wrong vending, right? I'm a, I'm a, let me explain that. What I mean by vending, I'm talking about bubblegum machines, um, uh, you know, snack machines, vending like that, right? So I'm going to tell you where I went wrong at. I went wrong because I'm in lawn care. I'm doing landscaping. And I went and bought a snack machine. Where is the snack machine gonna be at if I didn't if I don't have a building? And I didn't have a building, you know, at the moment. Where is the snack machine gonna be at? It's a good, it's a good business, but where would the snack machine be at? <clears throat> so let me tell you, because it became it came a failure. I had snack machines and I was getting locations. And it took time where I need to go and fill up these machines, right? So it took time away from me studying my one thing. And that's the lawn care, trying to grow lawn care, my landscaping business, right? <clears throat> then I had a problem where the person who I partnered with at their location to pull out the, the, the snack machine, they was like, uh, eventually they told me it was like, it's not working. Right, so now I gotta pull away from what's making the money to go pull out what's stop making the money, right? So then I say, yeah, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna go into the big machines no more. I don't wanna get where the snacks, the snacks, what I'm talking about, like potato chips and big bags of, of, of uh, M&Ms and uh, Skittles and gum and you know what I mean? So then I said, I really, you know, I told myself, I really want to be in the lawn, uh, the, the vending business, right? So, <clears throat> then I said, let me downsize so that it wouldn't be too bad on me, right? So, what I did was, I went and bought the candy machines, you know, the little 25 cent machines. This lasted for a while. The, the candy machines lasted for a while. I still have some in location. I'm not even going to lie about that. I still do. But I'm trying to sell that route because it doesn't align with what I'm doing. So, uh, you know, I built up the business 
you know, I built up the vending business to where I had the candy machines everywhere. You know, I had, I had them in laundry mats. I had them in um, tire shops. I had them in uh, uh, where else I had them in um, local gyms, right? <clears throat> um, barber shops, uh, you know. And I built up, you know, it was nice. It was, it was nice. And like I said, I still have a few of them out. But uh, what it came to was, I got lazy. <clears throat> I got lazy with going out to get the machines, right? I mean, going to, to, to uh, put the, the candy in the machines, pull out the, uh, pull out the money. <clears throat> I was getting lazy with it. And I know y'all will be like, why are you getting lazy with that if it's just easy money? Because I wanted freedom. That's why I was making me lazy. Because I was making a boatload of money in one business, my core business. And then I'm coming over here and, and, and I had a strategy. I'm gonna tell you what my strategy was. <clears throat> my strategy was to go and refill those machines when no one was there. So because I had that strategy of doing that, I had to go like crazy in the morning or like, you know, two, three in the morning to do these, to fill up these machines sometimes like six, seven in the morning. And I was like, good gracious, this is serious. So that's what made me lazy. So what I come to realize <clears throat> why you need to stay in your one niche and focus and specialize on it because out of all the vending machines that I had, all the vending machines that I had, let me tell you how, what led to me to going to the right vending machine. <clears throat> because I was in lawn care, because I am in the lawn care landscaping business, the trucks, we have crews, I run crews, and we have to get ice every single day. We have to get water and ice, you know, it get hot out, it's hot out here. You know, and then that's a lot of labor. So what I came to conclusion was, I need to get an ice machine. That's the vending machine I need to be in. That's the vending category I need to be in. Not the bubble gum and the, the snack machines. I got a people that does that. They they are the people that's around. You know, kids and you know state buildings and you know what I mean we're not often always around those areas so I said I need to figure out how I can get me an ice machine and I said when an opportunity come where I can buy one I'm going to get it and that's exactly what I did I uh <clears throat> I found the ice machine that basically could produce unlimited ice and on top of that, I said it's gonna be for my crews. It's gonna be for my business. On top of, I can make money with it because other people will come and purchase ice from me. That's what I mean by being a specialist and staying in your lane. Because the things that you try, a lot of times they're not gonna work because they're not inside of your lane. You know what I mean? A lot of things will start messing up because you're trying to diversify so far unless you can diversify unless you're not touching anything. You know what I'm saying? But I recommend you to specialize in one lane. Specialize in one lane because as you move forward, the things that, well, that you need in your business will eventually come up and the opportunity the opportunity will come to you and then you could be able to grab those opportunities and make your your revenue grow in your business you see what i'm saying so stop trying to stop trying to be a uh, a, a person that washes cars and then you you know then you say well i uh i also <clears throat> You know, I also uh, am a realtor. How do they mix? How do they, you know, they don't mix. But it would make sense if 
if you are a detailer, you wash cars, and you sell um, washing products to wash your vehicles, or you know, headlight cleaners, you know what I'm saying? That aligns with what you're doing. You have to specialize in what you're doing. Don't don't diversify too far. It does not make sense. You're gonna spread yourself so thin that your core business will start to decrease in revenue because you're diversifying so far and your attention is not where it needs to be. I'm, 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 I'm telling y'all this because I've made these mistakes. I've made these mistakes for you. So if I'm telling you that ain't the way. Don't don't diversify so far that you 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 know your your arm is pulling this way, another arm is pulling this way, somebody pulling your leg that way. How can you ever even clap your hands to say congratulations to yourself? Because your arms, your arms and your hands, they're too far apart. You can't even you can't connect them. You know what I'm saying? Keep them close. Keep them in the same direction so that you can grab more. Keep them in the same direction. You can't grab more when you're here and when they're tugging you everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Stop diversifying so far. If you're going to diversify, make it connect to what you're doing. You know? Make it connect. A realtor, a realtor that sells houses can also flip houses. They connect. They're in the same lane. See what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't. Not lose yourself, folks, because everybody say, "Oh, diversify your portfolio is safer." Don't divorce. Don't don't diversify. Diversify what connects to your business. You will lose yourself. I'm telling you this, but look, this is conversation with Mr. Wealthock. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Man, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. We gonna we gonna keep on we gonna keep on going. I'm dropping gems all day. As I'm talking, bring your bag. Cause I'm dropping gems, y'all need to pick them up and copy and paste them into your life. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to help you move forward and put you in a different mindset. We got to be better. We got to get better. You know what I'm saying? It's 2023. From here and beyond, Mr. Wealth Hacker says so. You need to turn up your life. You need to turn up your life. Your life need to be turned up on another level. Forget what you used to be doing. Lock in on that one thing and turn up. It don't matter if it don't look cool. It don't matter if, if somebody say, uh, man, that ain't gonna work. Lock in on it. Lock in on it. Forget what they talking about. Show them. Prove to yourself first that you can do this. You can turn up on this. You see so many different ways where that one thing you could turn up on it. Use all of those and baggage it up into one package and turn up with it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is conversation with uh, Mr. Wealth Hacker, man. I'm going to catch y'all on the next go around, man. Y'all, for, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's talk, man. Leave a comment in the, in the uh, comment section. We're going to talk. See y'all on the next one.